the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we are getting prepared to celebrate Christmas on this fifth day, let us contemplate on how did Jesus give life. The purpose of Jesus' coming to this earth was to give life that to abundantly. And in which way did he manifest this task of giving life? Is it said somewhere in the Bible? Yes. If you see Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. The angel appeared to St. Joseph. It is clearly said that he will redeem the people from their sins. Yes. By redeeming us. For, by the forgiveness of sins. By redeeming us from the slavery of the sins. From the bondage of sin. He gave us life. That is why we can see throughout Jesus' life, wherever, whomever came to Him, He said, your sins are forgiven. It might be the sinner. It might be the person with leprosy. It might be the woman who was caught up in prostitute. Whoever be, He said, your sins are forgiven. Because that was His task. The manifestation of giving life was done through forgiveness of sins. And where did it finally culminate? Where did it finally culminate? In Matthew chapter 26 verse 28, it clearly says that at the time of institution of the Eucharist, Jesus took the cup and said, This is my blood that will be poured out for the forgiveness of sins. And the death in the Calvary was for the same reason, that was to forgive the sins. So this Christmas is nothing but forgiveness of sins. This remembers us. We are free from sins. So what can we do as a preparation for Christmas? As we are preparing our hearts and minds for Christmas, what can we do? As our mother church says, we have to go for confession at least once in a year. Prepare ourselves and make a confession so that once he is born into our life, we will be of pure heart. If someone is coming to our home, we clean everything. Even in Hindu culture, even in any culture, if you see, if some guests come, the hosts always clean their homes and clean the environment and everything. Likewise, when Jesus is coming into our lives, he is coming to give life through the forgiveness of sins. And if that is so, let us go and confess our sin. On this day, let us specially pray for all the sinners. So that the divine mercy, so that the God's mercy might be on them. Abundantly poured out on them. So might they might live an abundant life in Christ. So, today. The prayer is nothing but to take a resolution to confess at least once in a month. Once in a month we have to go for confession. Then only this Christmas becomes more meaningful in our life. Then only Christmas gets its fuller meaning. So let's take a decision in our life. Every once in a month, once in a month I will go for confession. I will confess my sins and every fraction of my life I will live a saintly life so that Jesus who will be born in my heart will reign my heart. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Amen.